Hey guys, here and welcome to the very first match showcase from the group of Soul Enchanters. Now today I'm going to be showing you the Necromancy mod. Now what the Necromancy mod does, it allows you to uh, bring your fallen foes back to life so you can uh, have them as your little minion. Now it does this in unexpected ways and I wouldn't have expected this if I hadn't already looked into it. So I guess there's nothing left to do but to go into the uh, crafting recipes. First you have the bone needle. To craft the bone needle you're going to need one bone meal anywhere in the crafting table. And you will get a bone needle. Now I have this glass bottle above it because once you use the bone needle with a glass bottle in your inventory on a poor, unsuspecting little, little uh, animal like Randy over here, you will get a jar of blood and you will also lose the, uh, the, uh, the bone needle. Uh, yeah, and then you will get a jar of blood. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is the Necronomicon. The Necronomicon is crafted by using four leather, one ink sack, one feather, one jar of blood, one nether wart, and one book. Now, for the nether wart, you're actually going to have to go into the nether and hopefully find another fortress with some growing. So, yeah. The next thing I want to show you is the blood scythe. Now, to grab the blood scythe, you're going to need one jar of blood, one stick, one iron hoe, and one obsidian. And you will get a blood scythe. And once you kill a mob with the blood scythe in hand, you will get a, a soul in a jar once you have killed it. Now, let me just put this behind the okay. There we go. And as you can see, the sheep just dropped some lungs, which I will get to later. Now, the sewing machine is a very big part of this because without it, uh, you would just not be able to do this job. Now, to use the sewing machine, well, first you gotta craft it. To craft this sewing machine, you are going to need seven iron ingots, one string, and one bone needle, and you will get the sewing machine. And the sewing machine is required for the other crafting recipes because they are too big to fit in the uh, crafting table. Okay, let me just show you them. Now, this is quite an impressive recipe, if you ask me. Now, you're now to craft the heads, you're going to need 8 skin, 2 spider eyes, 1 brains, and 1 drop of the desired head that you want. I'm going to take all of these right now because we are going to use them later. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the torsos. To craft the torsos, you're going to need 6 skin, Four bones, one heart, one lung, as you can see here, and two uh, drops of any of these uh, mobs. Now, first, or no, uh, sorry, now I'm going to show you the legs. To craft the legs, you are going to need eight skin, four bones, two muscles, and two drops of any kind from these hostile mods and you will get the legs. Now there's one more body part that I have to show you and it is of course the arms. Now to craft the arms you're going to need four skin, two bone, one muscle, and one drop of any kind. Except for gunpowder and string because as you all know Spiders and creepers do not have arms. Yes, and once you have made, once you have crafted them using a sewing machine, 
you will be able to uh, use the summoning launcher. Now, let me get on to the summoning launcher. Now, to craft the summoning launcher, you are going to need two cobblestone and one oak wood plank. Now, this is where the Necronomicon comes in, because to because to craft the uh, summoning altar, you are going to need the, uh, to place two cobblestone in the world like that, as well as one oak wood plank or any wood plank. I just chose oak because so that out like that. Now. Then you are going to right click with the Necronomicon in hand um, on the wooden part, but only from this side because it's picky like that. And uh, yeah, it won't work if you just like do it from the side. Alright, let me put this stuff back so we can get on to the dressing box. Now, let us craft our very own creature. Now, let me just get a uh, a soul in a jar, and we can begin. Now, let's, now to craft your minions, right click and, uh, oh, I see there's a jar and souls in here. So let's just get on with it. I'm going to use the spider head, and as you can see, it pops up right there on the stone part and it kind of goes. It's pretty awesome. And then I'm going to use the uh, the ender torso, the zombie legs, and two skeleton arms, and then voila. Now to make your minion come to life, you're going to need an empty spot in your hand, and then shift right click on the wooden part and it will come to life. Yes, look at it. The horrifying beast that I have created. Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Now, as you can see, you can make the minions sit, or you can have them walking. Uh, they don't really do anything else besides that, and uh, that's kind of uh, sad. But I believe that the mod creator will uh, add some more stuff so they will be more useful. Okay, so yes, now here's the fun part. The little chest right here. This mod adds two new mobs into your game. One is the necromantic villager, which I have in my hand right here. And then there's the teddy bear. Yes, there is a teddy bear. Get over it. Spawn the necromancer, and then now once you right click on him, <laughs> he will spawn. Oh, huh. earlier he spawned a, a bunch of little minions. Let me see if he does it if you have the uh, hand. Nope. Other than that, he just uh, he's a normal villager who looks totally evil. Uh, you can trade with him and. Apparently, they like to trade you oak saplings for kind of it, It's really bogus. Okay. Now, the next one is the... Uh, the next one is the teddy bear. Now, the teddy bear is really creepy, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know what the teddy bear actually does. Um, I've only... I mean, I've seen him in defending, in sitting, and also walking, but I don't, I'm not sure what he does in defending, or anything else for that matter, but, yeah, I don't think he actually protects you from anything, despite the defending, because, I mean, look at him, look at him, he is so tiny, so tiny, that Necromancer could just squash him. Or sleep in bed with him. Either one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting one thing. 
and one thing only.